Well, hello, my friends. Welcome and welcome back. Yep, it's raining, very humid and uh, very nice, actually. You're not supposed to complain here in Albuquerque about the weather. Like I could say, uh, oh, the box of crackers I got this morning at the uh, grocery store are all soaked. Or I've got to come out here in the rain and get all soaked, but I got to get out and film, rain or shine. But today I am hanging out on 4th Street and I do have a rhyme to my reason. I want to check out a very famous restaurant here in town that's going to close in one week. So sad, but I found a little information about it. I'm going to go check out the uh, original home where they uh, created their barbecue. It goes all the way back to the 1800s. But uh, we'll check that out here in a minute. We're just going to wander around in the rain like a, like a dummy and uh, check out 4th Street. Let's go. I just love 4th Street. Uh, just the old buildings. One of the first areas of uh, Albuquerque from Old Town just kind of stretched out north. And uh, just some, a lot of, a lot of history. These buildings have changed hands so many times. Yeah, it's just, uh, just a lot of culture, a lot of, a lot of interesting history. Nice and noisy. Well, I'm gonna go back and get my umbrella. I thought I could take a few sprinkles, but after a while, a few sprinkles becomes soaking wet. It's not what I need right now. <laughs> well, after I got a few groceries, I sat around for a while, had some coffee, hoping this would let up, but it doesn't look like it's ever going to let up today, at least. But that's all right. We sure need it. Kind of hard to see, but you can see down south there the little misty bit of downtown. Chava's boots. It's just a little bit of rain, just a little bit of sprinkles, but it's kind of tough holding up an umbrella and trying to hold, hold a camera with a bad shoulder. Oh well, complain, complain, complain. Huh. All ready for 4th of July. Very cool. Oh wow, I have seen this building before here on North 4th, but I've never noticed. You gotta get up close and personal. I've never noticed these pillars. Wow. That is really cool. people at this art place, a little community center, handmade these. It's freaking awesome. All these tiles. Wow. It took a lot of work to put those up and to make them. Fantastic.
bunch of real small figures. Some masks, dragonfly. Very, 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 very cool. I just love stuff like this. It uh, really spruces up a neighborhood. So cool. A couple benches. Let's go around the front here. Wow. It's like the entrance of an old Spanish style home. Love it. Looks like someone was in the middle of dinner here. Some diced tomatoes. Yeah, I've shown this uh, a long time ago when I was hanging out in this area. It's so cool. You always find something new. Oh, there's American Sign Language there. I don't remember what they mean. Well, it's going to be a nooks and crannies day also, along with a specified subject. Wow, payphones? Can't believe these are still here. Okay, the restaurant staple that I was talking about is right here. This is Mr. Padrell's home here on 4th Street in Albuquerque. And the sad thing is, and the reason I'm doing this video today is because it's closing for good. In one week from today, the end of June. They came here in 1962 and uh, made their way to a very popular, very good stuff, barbecue. Now, of course, the uh, grandfather started it back in 1840, but they made a big go of it here. Padrell's Barbecue Takeout right here. Just COVID and the economy just kind of took it out of them and they decided to do something else. They're, so they are going to open something else, from what I understand. But they actually started the barbecue using some of his ancestors' recipes. But only four years before they moved here in 1962. Just a grand old house, isn't it? Beautiful. This would have been their front yard here. It says since 1870 up there. Mr. Padrell's barbecue original hickory smoked. Now, of course, I've driven by here a million times and I never really thought about it. This being the original Padrell's. Of course, they had quite a chain after a while. They had uh, quite a few different, different restaurants all over Albuquerque. But this one is just fascinating. Their mailbox is an old plow. Very cool. Now again, I tried to memorize a bunch of information, but I just, I just can't. With my memory anymore, I can't uh, memorize anything anymore. So I'm just kind of going off of what I remember from what I read. This is so cool.
Here's their backyard. An old sign right there. Mr. Padrell's Barbecue House. You can actually smell the barbecue. They must have it smoking all the time. Getting it ready to go. It's like an old smoker over here. Wow, I wonder how old that is. Check out this mural. So bright, beautiful. Got the Zia Suns in the windows there. This is the bedrock kitchen. It's a great painting. Beautiful. I love the way that McDonald's is kind of made like uh, like some of the original ones with those arches on each side. Pretty cool. Well, I better go back and get my car out of that restaurant's parking lot. Yeah, it's starting to ease up a little bit. Of course. After I've done most of my video, it always stops raining. It's like when I was up in the Four Corners somewhere, I can't remember the town, but uh, I think it was Aztec, Aztec, New Mexico. I get there all excited to walk through the town, it starts raining, I mean raining hard. You can probably find the video on my list, but uh, I walked through it up and down all around, and when I got back to the car, yep, it stopped. <laughs> My timing is terrific. The story of my life. Very colorful sign there. Looks like it's blinking on camera. Now recently someone left a, a comment on one of my uh, casino videos and uh, I guess they were upset that uh, I kept filming after they told me to stop but uh, if you follow me it's, it's hard for me to stop filming especially if someone says don't do it then it makes for kind of kind of interesting but uh, what they said was you should understand at your old age, someone tells you not to do something, don't do it. Well, <laughs> I may be old, old age, but that doesn't make me very bright. <laughs> oh, I'd be remiss if I didn't come and check this old uh, sculpture out. It's kind of a bus stop, has a bench on it, but the real bus stops over there this is the tree of life just a great neighborhood a lot of interesting things to see just love 4th Street Looking for the sun to get some sun on my face, but I don't know where it is. At least it quit uh, raining for a little bit. 
but you're not supposed to complain about it. We want it to rain, rain, rain until we just flood the whole city. But thank you for coming along with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for helping me uh, uh, celebrate Padrells and sad news that they're going to be closing. But uh, it was a fun little nooks and crannies little walk. And uh, I enjoyed it, even though it uh, got a little soaked. Now I got to go home and dry off. Well, I got to get wet first, take a shower, then dry off. But uh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. And uh, I hope you like this video. If you liked it, it's definitely worth it. So I will see you very, very soon. We'll see what the next video has in, in store for us. The adventures that await. Bye for now. Hey, what are you doing up there? Ah, oh, they're waiting for some coffee. They need some Dunkin' coffee. Now I learned this recently, see that tower back there? Not all of these are cell phone towers. Some of these are, uh, I think the initials are SWEG or something. They're not cell phone towers, they're actually low radio frequency towers. They're made for safety uh, in case of a nuclear blast uh, and knocks out the uh, higher frequency radios this will still allow communication. That's what I heard. You can look it up yourself. Let me know if I'm just, uh, just nuts.